Hello, and welcome back to the story. Today we will be making a recap on a 1992 movie titled Single White Female. The story begins with two eight-year-old twins in the bathroom playing with their mother's makeup. We are then taken years later, on a summer night at an old apartment in New York. Living in the apartment is a woman named Allison talking with her fiancé Sam, planning for their upcoming wedding. Later, Sam's ex-wife calls and Allison overhears everything through the answering machine. She learns that Sam is still sleeping with his ex-wife, so they argue. Just above them, Allison's best gay friend named Graham, hears their argument through the ventilation. A few moments later, Allison goes to Graham's apartment teary-eyed. She tells Graham that she kicked out her fiancé and asks Graham to let her sleep in his spare room. Next morning, Graham wakes Allison who is already late for her appointment with a client. She meets her client Mitchell whom she will be selling a computer program she made for designing dresses. Mitchell bids lower than Allison's asking price but she accepts it. Later at the laundry, Allison tells Graham about her plan to find a roommate, so she won't be alone. She places an ad in the newspaper that says single white female seeks female to share apartment. Few applicants answer the ad. Some are weird like the lesbian who tries seducing Allison and an irritating one who does not stop talking. The last one though appears to be the perfect one. When she is about to call the last applicant, she notices the photo of Sam on the fridge and starts to cry. Until another one applicant comes in and introduces herself as Hydra, she sees Allison crying and tries to make her tea. Their water faucet breaks and both of them get wet. While drying her clothes, Allison gets to know Hydra better and they get along very well so she decides to choose her as her roommate. Allison tours her new roommate through the basement of the building and the private lockers where the tenants can store their things. She also shows her the incinerator room which is not allowed to be used by the tenants. She also tours her to the old elevator and teaches her how to close it using the screwdriver hanging in a chain of the cabin. The two get to like each other better. Allison helps Hydra in buying clothes and even gives her a lampshade. Hydra also gives Allison a pair of earrings that Allison liked. Hydra tells Allison that she has a twin sister who died at birth. While Allison is talking with Sam on the phone, Hydra hides a mysterious shoebox away. One day, Sam calls Allison while she is away and Hydra hears this. She then erases Sam's voicemail. Hydra buys an expensive puppy and lies that it was given to her on the market. Allison tells Hydra to bring it back to the people who gave it to her. That night, when the puppy was alone in the kitchen, it started crying so Allison takes it to her room. Hydra sees this behind her door smiling. They started getting closer to the puppy. Allison works hard on her program and has not seen her friend Graham much lately. Graham gives Allison his apartment keys and asks her to take care of his cat while he is away in the weekend. When Allison gets back to her apartment, she finds Sam who has forced his way to her apartment. Hydra feels upset and leaves the two of them alone. Sam tells Allison he sent her letters, but Allison says she didn't receive any. They started to reconcile and became intimate. Hydra sees them. She tries to call Allison, but she does not answer because she and Sam are busy making out. Later that evening, Hydra watches TV alone and kicks the puppy away. Allison is in the hotel where Sam is staying. When she got back, she finds Hydra in her room with the puppy. Hydra looks upset because Allison never calls her. Allison apologizes and Hydra notices the ring on Allison's finger. She realizes that she will have to move out of the apartment. Allison is in Mitchell's office asking him to set up a demo for people who might be interested in her program and Mitchell agrees to set it up. Allison wakes up with Sam beside her. She gets up to get some water and when she comes back, she finds Hydra and Sam talking and laughing. Later that same night, Allison wakes up to a strange noise. She peeks at Hydra's room while carrying the puppy and finds Hydra playing with herself. The puppy suddenly makes noise and Allison runs back to her bed. Hydra knows that Allison saw her. The next day, Sam is fixing the balcony while Hydra is cooking eggs. Allison comes out of her room and is not happy seeing Sam and Hydra having breakfast together. Hydra asks Allison what she wants for dinner and Allison answer that her and Sam will be eating out. When they go outside, we can see the puppy barking and ignores Hydra's call and offering of food. 
Allison and Sam visit a vacant apartment somewhere in New York. When they come back to their apartment, they find that the puppy is dead after falling from the balcony. They think that Sam has not fixed the balcony very well. That is why the puppy fell from it. Allison finds it hard to sleep so Hedra gives her some pills. Allison then asks Sam not to cancel the business trip he already planned. Next morning, the phone rings and Mitchell is waiting for Allison for the demo they have planned. While choosing a dress to wear, Allison finds out that Hedra bought exact same clothes she has. After the demo, Mitchell tries to take advantage of Allison. She hits him in the groin and runs away while Mitchell is lying suffering pain. When she arrives at the apartment, Allison tells Hedra what happened and Hedra gives her some pills. She then calls Mitchell in his home pretending to be Allison. She warns him not to do anything with Allison or something bad will happen to him and his family. Hedra then takes Allison to her hairstylist and tells the stylist to give her the exact same hairstyle and color as Allison. Allison did not like it. Back in the apartment, Allison searches Hedra's bedroom while she is in the bathroom. She finds the shoebox and opens it. There, Allison finds out that Hedra's real name is Ellen, and her twin sister did not actually die at birth, rather she dies of drowning when they were nine. Allison also finds a love letter Sam has written for her. That night, Allison tries to talk with Graham about what she found but Graham is not around. As she is going back to the apartment, she sees Hedra leave and rides a taxicab. She follows her as she enters a strange nightclub where rich people watch a private erotic show. Hedra is called Allison by the bartender. Later, Allison goes back to Graham's apartment and tells him everything. Graham tells her to get rid of Hedra, but Hedra overhears all of this through the ventilation. While Allison and Graham are talking, Hedra comes in without anyone noticing. Allison later puts duct tape on air ventilation because Graham tells her that Hedra might hear them talking through that. Graham finds Hedra in his apartment and asks her to listen to him, but she brutally attacks him with a metal bar and leaves him lying lifeless on the floor. Allison tries to call Hedra's father but only gets an answering machine. When she hears Hedra arrive in the apartment, she put the phone down. Hedra, without saying anything goes straight to the bathroom. Allison enters the bathroom as she is worried Hedra stayed there too long but then finds Hedra stained in blood. Hedra says that it is just her period. Hedra tells Allison that she is weak for getting back with Sam. The phone rings and Hedra answers it. She hears her father asking her to come back home. She slams the phone and pretends it is just a prank call. Hedra takes the phone set to her room and later answers Sam's call. Sam asks her to tell Allison he has called but asks her not to wake her up. Hedra enters Sam's room at night wearing only a raincoat without anything underneath. She gets into his bed and do him a pleasure while he is asleep. He eventually wakes up and finds out it is Hedra, but it is already too late. Sam argues with her and when he is about to call Allison and tell her the truth, Hedra thrusts the heel of her stiletto into his eyes. He immediately falls unconscious on the floor, and she leaves the room. At the lobby, the clerk greets her goodnight Miss Jones thinking she is Allison. The next morning, Hedra is cleaning the apartment thoroughly and Allison tells her she does not need to move out today. She takes a suitcase containing the clothes that make her look like Allison and brings it to the basement. She burns them in the incinerator. Allison starts preparing breakfast when she hears the news on TV where a white male is found lifeless in a hotel. She calls the hotel and confirms that it is Sam. She goes to the bathroom crying and vomiting. Meanwhile, in the basement, Hedra takes out a gun from the boot and puts it in a large paper bag. In the bathroom, Allison sees blood on the heels of Hedra's shoes and realizes what happened. When Hedra arrives, Allison tells her she is going to see Graham. Hedra tells her to get properly dressed before she goes out. While Allison is getting dressed, Hedra comes in wearing gloves and tells Allison that she is aware that Allison already knows about Sam's death. Hedra admits it was her who put down Sam and tells her that it was just an accident. When Allison says about going to the police, Hedra tells her that no one in the building knows Hedra lived there since she cleaned all of her fingerprints. The police will certainly conclude that Allison is the one who killed Sam because Hedra looks like her when she went to the hotel. Hedra tells her to come with her so they can run away together. 
Hydra points the gun at Allison and brings her to Graham's apartment. Hydra then dyes her hair back to natural black so she will no longer look like Allison. She ties her on a chair and gags her with tape. She then turns on the TV and puts the remote control near Allison's hand. Hydra tells her she has to leave to cash a check. When she's gone, Allison turns the TV volume to the highest and changes the channel to a noisy one to attract help. At the bank, Hydra is cashing her check using her real name. The clerk tells her that her father called asking her to call back. She then runs away. Meanwhile, one of neighbors complains to the building manager about the loud TV next door. He is about to enter the room using a spare key, but Hydra comes just in time to stop him. She then switches the TV off and slaps Allison. She gets a big kitchen knife and threatens her. She then tears the tape from Allison's mouth to hear what she is saying but Allison just kisses her. Hydra is confused and starts to cry. While stroking Hydra's hair, Allison sees Graham's wallet lying on floor and kicks it away. That evening, in Mitchell's office, important data on Allison's program are gradually deleting themselves. A warning message pops up saying that if Allison is not paid in 24 hours, all data will be lost forever. Since Mitchell cannot reach any of her phone numbers, he decides to go to Allison's place himself. Back in Graham's apartment, Allison is booking a plane ticket to Los Angeles. She tells Hydra that they are going to pay using Graham's credit card, so she asks her to get his wallet in the living room. While Hydra is looking for Graham's wallet, Allison is typing an SOS message on the computer. But Hydra comes back in the room before the message is sent. Hydra turns the computer off and points the gun to Allison. Thinking that the neighbor might hear the gunshot, Hydra just knocks Allison out. Hydra then takes the elevator down to the basement while Mitchell is waiting for it in the lobby. Hydra takes a very large suitcase from Allison's locker in the basement and brings it back to the elevator. Mitchell enters the elevator where Hydra is riding back from the basement, and they ride together until they reach Graham's floor. Mitchell sees Hydra open Graham's door and tells her he wants to see Graham's friend, Allison. Hydra answers that Graham is away on a cruise but then Mitchell recognizes the suitcase that belongs to Allison. He hears Allison moaning from the apartment, so he pushes Hydra away and slams the door. Mitchell finds Allison lying on the floor tied up. He takes her gag off, but Hydra enters the room and points a gun at him. Mitchell slowly stands up and manages to take the gun off Hydra and throws her across the room and she becomes unconscious. As he is untying Allison, Hydra hits him on the head. She gets her gun back and puts a cushion on Mitchell's head, so the gun won't make a loud noise and pulls the trigger. In the bathroom, Graham is starting to regain consciousness. Meanwhile, Hydra dictates a suicide note to Allison which she writes on the computer. She then gives her glass of water and a lot of pills. Allison smashes the glass in Hydra's face, and they start to fight. Allison manages to get rid Hydra of her gun and rushes out of the room. Allison is having a hard time opening the door and Hydra comes behind her pointing a gun. Graham jumps on Hydra, and when Hydra is about to shoot him, Allison pulls her out of the room. Allison runs towards the elevator, but Hydra shoots her in the shoulder. She is still able to run and finally reaches the elevator. As Hydra points the gun, Allison squeezes her hand, and she drops her gun. Allison picks it up and tries to shoot her, but the gun has run out of bullets. They continue fighting in the elevator and Hydra successfully put Allison unconscious. Hydra pulls Allison across the basement. She then goes to the incinerator room to turn it on. When she comes back with a wheelbarrow, she finds Allison missing. Allison is hiding in a large metal box in the ventilation. A rat walks along the pipe and reaches Allison. She throws it down on Hydra's shoulder and when she looks up, the box is empty. Hydra goes back to the incinerator and keeps on finding Allison. Allison falls upside down and pierce Hydra's back with a screwdriver from the elevator cabin. Hydra lies on the floor lifeless, and Allison closes her eyes. The movie ends with Allison moving into the apartment she and Sam have visited. She puts Hydra's photo collection back in the shoebox. She fails to see the picture hidden in wrapping papers which has her and Hydra's face joined together. Did you like our movie recap? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. To be updated for new movie recaps, hit the notification bell.